well, how many times have we said this season that the Bee Diggers have mainly been a second-half team, so not to say that they can't play well in the first half. However, I mean, you're down by two, so you're, in a, you're still in a very good position at this point. They need to maintain right now and then put the gas pedal down in the second half. Let's see if the Bee Diggers are able to do that in this game, as C.J. Kuka certainly had a big first quarter, scoring eight points. So he's obviously played a very solid offensive game, but it's been a game of runs so far. The Bee Diggers scored the first four points, then went on a 6 nothing run. And now trail by two as we begin the second. Jordan Holland out there with Lawrence Esquivel, Michael Pratt, DeRay Mason, Chris Sandoval for the Salonis Wetsa team. Mason right baseline, turn, shoots, and blocked again by Colby Waiter. Coming away with the basketball, Joe Rosenbrock out there with Waiter to Laurier. Casey Bay and Obaldo Cruz bounce pass. I believe it was tipped by Delonis Wetsa, it was by Michael Pratt, intended for Colby Waiter along the left baseline. It will stay with the beat diggers. And to throw it in is Ubaldo Cruz, holding the ball up high. Right in front of him, Michael Pratt. Cruz in the left corner to Rosenbrock, guarded by Esquivel, dribbles towards the top of the key on the outside right to Cruz. Cruz now retreats towards the timeline. The Bee Diggers will demonstrate some patience on offense, which they did very well in the fourth quarter against Yuma last Friday, right corner for Waylert. Waylert dribbling to his left, jump pass to the left wing to Cruz. Cruz free throw line bay on the right wing, Waylert, wide open three in the air, is in for Colby Waylert. He's got seven. And the Bee Diggers now lead by a point, 19 to 18. With the basketball is Jordan Holland for Dolores Wet, the right of the free throw line, stripped by Rosenbrock, gets it back, right corner for Pratt, penetrates right baseline all the way, uses his body, and he's fouled, I believe, by Casey Bay from behind as he misses. And now they're going to say Waylor instead. It could have been either one. They both had a hip on him, whether it was front or back. Locally in Fort Morgan and Brush, and Meyer Phillips Insurance offers home health, auto farm business, and workers' compensation insurance. In Meyer Phillips Insurance, the Pratt free throw is in and out. Second free throw upcoming, and committed to serving those in production ag. Premier Farm Credit is the gold standard in ag lending. By the way, this game's going. We might not have too many free throws. Got to get the sponsors in any time you can. Second free throw to tie the game. If Pratt can make it, that is up and that is in. And we're deadlocked at 19, a rather, definitely a lighter crowd than the Ken Denver University yep. game. Ken Denver won that game, 58-43. Bounce pass, right up to Kuka, left headed lamp up, and it spins out. And the rebound controlled by Chris Sandoval, trapped to the backcourt. Bounce pass to Mason, now to Holland, across the timeline on the outside right, in the right corner for Pratt, spinning on Rosenbrock between his legs. And then he lost the ball as he was stripped and picked up by Kuka underneath the basket. Third turnover for the Scorpions. Waiter to the outside right with a basketball. Beat Diggers looking for the lead. Over to Delorier. Delorier back out to Kukas on the left wing to Lynch. Lynch holding the basketball. Near that left baseline to Delorier. Back in, back out. Lynch straight away three. It's going to be well short. Picked up by Waiter. And it bounce pass going to be taken away by Jordan Holland. Holland with Lynch to beat. Lean shoot. Offensive foul as Lynch took the contact. So you've got to love that from Derek Lynch. Oh, you know I do. That's my favorite part, taking a charge. Well, and that was a little bit risky because that could have been his second uh, foul, but he knows how to pick his spots correctly. And that inbound pass, Lynch throws it right into the arms of Jordan Holland, intercepts it and lays it in, and the beat diggers won a 30-second time. Now, that is just inexcusable in a playoff game. It is, and Coach Kennedy, I'm sure, is telling them they're di- they've switched now from a 2-2-1, which is kind of a zone, half zone, half man. Now they're going straight up man, and they, they're they just panicking. Instead of setting a pick for somebody and letting them flash to the ball, they're just kind of panicking right now. I don't I don't know why. They've seen that before. I believe Erie did the same thing. All right, I'm John Beltran with Jen Goodall, brush trailing Ken Denver, 21-19. Actually, the lowest went to Ken Denver High School, 21-19. Uh, Brayden, the Lady Bee Diggers were leading early. Let's send it to you here for an update. Thanks, John. It's 540, 5 minutes and 49 seconds left to go in the first half. Your Beat Diggers lead 18-9. to 9. Leading scorer All right, right thank now. You, and here the Bee Diggers trail by two, and Derek Lynch with the basketball across the timeline, dribbling by Jordan Holland, fouled by Holland. And that's only the second team foul committed by this Delonis Wetson team. 
And to throw it in three quarters, court is Derek Lynch, Gerald Fuentes back into the game. Well, Derek did the right thing right there because he had his hand on his hip the whole way down the floor. That's going to eventually be a foul. Bounce pass to Waiter. Now to Kukas. On the outside left to Rosendrive. Down low for Waiter. Waiter left baseline spinning. He'll pull up from 14 feet. That's going to be short. The ball is tipped into the hands of Waiter. All the way the runner's up. That is short. Waiter has it again. Puts it up and in. Colby Waiter to tie the game at 21. Boy, was Waiter fighting and fighting until he scored. Down low, Mason with the basketball against Kukas. Puts it up off the glass. No good. And Kukas grabs his fourth rebound. Now the beat niggers can take the lead. Derek Lynch with a basketball. Into the front court. Jump pass to Laurier. He'll pull up for the three. That's off the back of the rim. And the long rebound is controlled by Rosenbrock, who wrestled the basketball away. Here's Wainer. He carries the three in the corner. Wainer has got eight in the corner, 12 in the game. The beat niggers now lead 24-21 with 5.15 to go in the second. With a basketball on the outside right is Michael Pratt dribbling right baseline against Rosenbrock. Cut off. Picks up his dribble. Back out to Chris Sandoval. Sandoval inside the three-point line. That shot is going to be an air ball. And Derek Lynch comes away with a basketball for the beat diggers. Lynch with a long pass to Kukas. Kukas down low. Feeds to Laurie. Right baseline turns. And it's fouled by Jeray Mason on that shot. So to the line is J.D. Mason with his first foul. All of a sudden, the beat diggers are on a little 5 nothing run looking to extend it. Well, they just... Like I said, they just looked panicked right there like they've never seen it before. And it was just nerves, it's miscommunication, which they've had before. Once they're communicating, they're just fine and doing well. Your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs, from checking to savings to IRAs, is Morgan Federal Bank. 321 Inside Street, Morgan Federal Bank. There's a difference. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The first free throw is in by Delorier. The second one is up, and that one is good as well. And Brush all of a sudden is on a 7 nothing run. They lead 26-21. Here comes Lawrence Esquivel, the outside right to Fuentes. With the basketball back out to Esquivel, top of the key. Right wing Fuentes in a right corner for Mason against Kukas. Lobs it near the top for Esquivel. On the outside right to Fuentes against Colby Waiter. Left of the free line. Back out to Mason. Straight away shot is a brick. And the ball is tipped around. And it went off Kukas to Lorre. Tries to save it in. And does to Joe Rosenbrock. Beat Diggers want to run. Rosenbrock with the basketball. Left wing to Lorre. Lost the ball. Got it back. In front of the Dolores went the bench near the timeline to Derek Lynch. He'll set up the beat digger offense with 4.17 to go in the second. Beat digger's up by five. Down low. And Kukas plays. No misses. Puts it up and in off the reverse after missing the first shot. And now the beat diggers all of a sudden lead by seven at 28-21. The other way, the lean, the miss, and Delorie fouls Gerald Fuentes. He'll go to the line. But a nice job of Kukas getting his own rebound and scoring. His 10th point of the game. Yeah, I think on the first one, he just lost the handle on the ball and slipped out, but he kept with it and got it with the other one. Deloria with his first foul. The left-hander, Gerald Fuentes to the line. The beat diggers on a 9 nothing run, and it ends right there on the line drive free throw by Gerald Fuentes. That was a bullet. Second free throw upcoming. And that's in the air. And that one's off the back of the rim and off to the red rebound to Mason. He wasn't blocked out and he laid it in. Oh, beat diggers, that cannot happen. Mason scores at the four-point game, 28-24. 3.52 to go, second quarter. Waiter with the basketball. The other timeline to Lynch, guarded by Esquivel. Back out to Waiter, high right for Deloria. Down low for Rosenbach, jump pass to Kuk as he scoops it up and he missed it. And the rebound to Chris Sandoval, that was an easy scoop but missed by C.J. Kukas. Esquivel with a basketball. Outside left, penetrating. Cut off. Back to Mason. Top of the key to Sandoval. Dribbles to his left. Bounce pass to Esquivel at the free throw line. Against Derek Lynch. Nearly tied up by Waiter. Kicks it back out to Sandoval. Bounce pass. High left to Esquivel. Steps in. Now to Mason. And he travels. Turnover number five for Colonis Wetzel. The eight diggers have nine. And Brush has cut down on those turnovers here in this quarter. Well, going back to that last offensive set that they had, that was Jeremy Delorier recognizing that if he came out with a wing, did the little high-low with Joe coming down on the baseline to CJ at the free-throw line, that that play was going to work, and it did, except for the basket didn't go in. In the left corner, Kukas with the basketball. Back out to Lynch. Lynch bounce past left corner. Waiter, he'll take the three, and that's going to be an air ball. And Mason comes away with the basketball. Mason to Esquivel, under three minutes to go in the opening half. Beat diggers by four, and we've got a palming violation. He turned it over. Esquivel commits the sixth turnover for the Scorpions. It'll be beat digger basketball once again, looking to 
Perhaps go up by as many as seven. That was their biggest lead of the game just moments ago. That'd be all right with me. And here is Derek Lynch across midcourt for the Bee Diggers. Towards the top of the key, bounce pass high right for Waiter, and the ball is stripped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bee Diggers as Gerald Fuente has got a paw in there. Three quarters court, Waiter to trigger it in. Waiter, right corner to Loyer, is not going to take that shot. Going to kick it back out to Lynch. Lynch at the top of the key, left of the free throw line, left of the lane, bounce pass, and the ball is poked away. It's still loose, taken by Rosenbrock. Cross court to Waiter. He'll take the three, and it's off the back of the rim. Rebound to Loyer. Lee shoots scores. Jeremy Deloria gives Bush a six-point lead at 30 to 24, and Dolores Huerta and Ryan Romero, the head coach, not happy about that whatsoever. So with the Bee Diggers up by six with 2:28 to go in the second, I'm John Beltran with Jen Goodall, the Lady Bee Diggers playing in Brush against Kent Denver. Let's send it over to Braden with an update. Braden, 27-15, your Lady Diggers lead with 3:29 left to go in the half. Back to you, John. All right, here it's 30 to 24 in favor of the boys. Is if the Lady Bee Diggers win, they would advance to a game tomorrow against St. Mary's Academy, which won tonight, 38 to 28. That was a 23 beating a 10 in Grand Valley. And earlier tonight, here was Ken Denver, the host school, beating University 58-43. And this gym will be jam packed tomorrow. Ken Denver won that game. And here we go. Gerald Fuentes, Lawrence Esquivel, along with Lawrence Barreras, Michael Pratt, and Chris Sandoval for Dolores Huerta in their road blues. The beat diggers in their home whites with Derek Lynch, Joe Rosenbrock, DJ Kukas, Colby Waiter, and Jeremy Deloy. It's all poked away and out of bounds, but it's off Joe Rosenbrock. Intended for Barreras in the paint. Three quarters court. Fuentes to throw it in. Fuentes over to Esquivel. Bounce pass is kicked by Rosenbrock, so it will stay with DH. With 2.12 to go in the second quarter. Quick moving first half. And the beat diggers up by six. Fuentes with the basketball. On the outside right to Esquivel. Steps in. Tried to throw it back out towards uh, Michael Pratt, but poked out of bounds over there on the pass by Rosenbrock. It stays once again with Dolores Huerta, and Cameron Sarniento steps into the game. Fuentes down low for Sandoval, back out Sarniento. is not going to take that three. Right wing pass poked away by Rosenbrock. Long pass to Derek Lynch. Lynch all the way scoops up. He stopped hard by Sarniento. Derek Lynch to the line, and that's five turnovers in the quarter for this Dolores Huerta team. The B-Diggers doing a much better job on defense. Yeah, they they're settling in a little bit, staying relaxed, and not letting the game come to them instead of trying to force things. And, you know, they're they're doing the opposite of what was done to them in the first quarter. They're getting up in their shorts a little bit. Free throw by Lynch is deep. Second free throw upcoming for D. Lynch. You can give the beat diggers a seven-point lead, matching their biggest margin. Bends, shoots, and that one's in and out. And the rebound is controlled over there by Barreras. I can tell you that D. Lynch is not happy about that. He takes pride in those free throws. Fuentes on the outside left. Bounce pass down low. Poked out of bounce by Kukas. Intended for Sandoval. It will stay with Delonis Wet to the beat diggers in this quarter. Have allowed just six points. Well, that was a great recovery by CJ because he got hooked on the back side of him and he needed to get all the way around. Nathan Esquivel is into the game now for... See what happened here with for Cameron Submiento. And do we have no? I guess Submiento's got to stay in there. I think we had a substitution issue, or no, that's something with the uh, jersey. He must have blood on it or something, I'm guessing. Fuentes to throw it into the right of the basket with the beat diggers up six with a minute 49 to go in the second bounce pass. That low pride lays it up. This is short, and Kukas wrestles away the rebound. That's his six. Now the beat diggers can take their biggest lead. If they score a bucket here, Derek Lynch across the timeline with a minute 35 to go. Lynch with the basketball on the outside right to Rosenbrock on the right wing for Deloria and the paint for Kukas down low waiter. Left wing Lynch, wide open three, and it's good for Derek Lynch. And the Bee Diggers now lead, or check that, it's a two for D. Lynch. Bee Diggers now lead 32-24 in the paint. The ball is loose, picked up by Fuentes, and it, he had to have traveled. I think they got him for a timeout before he rolled on to yep. his back. 
They did. And as for the jersey issue, it looked like you can't have a different color um, underneath your jersey, so I think he had a white shirt underneath, and they weren't allowing him in. It had to be matching their color, which is blue. Jen, you've said many times that if teams are too advanced at this point of the season, you've got to play the defense, and clearly after the Bay Diggers allowed 18 points in the opening quarter, just six in the first six minutes and 45 seconds, and we just talked about that a couple of minutes ago, but it's worth reemphasizing that because of the defense, a two-point deficit is now an eight-point lead. Well, they're doing a much better job of communicating. I mean, you see that the he's in the middle down there on that 2-3 zone, and he's got to be best at communication. He can see everybody on the floor, so he needs to be telling them where it's at. Hopefully they don't have the same breakdown on the screen to play here. Nathan Esquivel to throw in the left corner for Pratt. Back out to Carolina, and that pattern is intercepted. Actually, towards Puentes, taken away by Derek Lynch. Here come the beat diggers. Lynch with the basketball. Harass near the top. Bounce pass Rosenbrock. Left corner waiter. Three in the air. Is no good. Strong side rebound. Controlled by Chris Sandoval. Sandoval on the outlet to Nathan Eskin. Nearly picked up that back foot. Beat digger fans wanted traveling. Didn't get it. Sandoval outside right front. This right corner pass. Penetrates right baseline. And he dragged his foot. No call. He Sandoval lays it up and foul as he misses. I think Dolores Wetter got two there. I and believe you're correct. Free throws there for Dolores Wetter. The foul. Committed by C.J. Kukas. Check that. It's Delorier. Well, it says Kukas up there. And, yeah, it is Kukas. <laughs> That's his first. It's sound of all three throws in, out, in. He's got nine points in the game. The beat digger lead is down to seven for 47.2 seconds to go. Second free throw for the left-hander. That is up, and that is in. Rush 32, Delotis with the 26. Lynch with a basketball in the backcourt. Against Nathan Esquivel. Dribbles across the timeline. Now he's going to slow it down towards the top of the key. Picks up that dribble. Looking. Bounce pass near the timeline to Rosenbrock. 32 seconds to go. High right for Kukas. Kukas. Cross court pass towards Lynch. It's off his hand. Into the Delotis with the bench. The beat makers have committed their 10th turnover. And Delotis with with 27.7 seconds to go. Before the break, we'll have a chance to cut into that six-point beat digger lead, perhaps take the final shot. And that's what Coach Romero is saying, final shot of the opening half. Here's Fuentes with a basketball near the beat digger bench to Nathan Esquivel. Esquivel towards the top of the three-point circle, dribbling to his right. is going to beat Pratt, looking up at the clock with nine seconds. Into the lane, Pratt stripped by Rosenbrock. Ball is loose on the floor. Wrestled away by Rosenbrock. Three seconds to go, two. Bounce pass, Lynch all the way, lay up, and up, and in. Beatmakers take advantage of the turnover, and Rosenbrock feeds Lynch for two. And we're at the break with the brush. Four, Delonis with the 26. If you're listening to the Class 3A State Tournament, 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 